we have a new topic for today. We have the neo classical arts. So habang All right, we have a new topic for today. All you have to do is sit back, relax, and listen to this video lesson and okay matutulog. Today's topic is neoclassical art, paintings, sculptures, and artists. If you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, you may click the subscribe button. Also, like us on Facebook and follow me on Instagram, Senior Artist Lancelot. This topic will be divided into two categories. First, we have the neoclassical paintings and followed by neoclassical sculptures. So, let's start. First, let's define what is neoclassicism. The word neoclassic came from the Greek word neos, meaning new, and the Latin word classicus, which is similar in the meaning to the English phrase first class. The Western movement in decorative and visual arts was called neoclassicism. The neoclassical movement coincided with the 18th century age of reason, also known as the age of enlightenment. The art style in this period was brought about by the renewed interest in Greek and Roman classics. Here are the characteristics of neoclassical art. 1. Portrayal of Roman history. Number 2. Emphasis of mythology. Number 3. Formal compositions. Number 4. Use of diagonals to show peak emotions or movement. Number 5. Use of local colors. Number 6. Overall lighting. And number 7. Classic geo structure. This art movement shows little interest in showcase of themes or subject related to religion, sensuality, passion, and love as this period was a period of enlightenment. It aims to show what is happening in the society, the politics around them. Let's go now to the neoclassical paintings and the artists of this era. First, we have Jacques Louis David. He was an influential French painter in the neoclassical style and considered to be the preeminent painter of the era. His subjects were more on history. Let's go now to the famous artworks of Jacques Louis David. First, we have Death of Marat. David's masterpiece shows the portrayal of a revolutionary martyr. This is a painting of the murdered French revolutionary Jean Paul Marat. Another one is Napoleon crossing the Alps, or known as the Saint Bernard Pass. The painting that showed a strongly idealized view of the real crossing that Napoleon and his army made across the Alps through the Great St. Bernard Pass in May 1800. Then, the last one, we have the Oath of the Horati. It was the large painting that depicts a scene from a Roman legend about the dispute between Rome and Alba Longa. The three brothers, all of whom disappear, willing to sacrifice their lives for the good of Rome, are shown saluting their father who holds their swords out for them. Another artist is Jean Auguste Dominique Ingres, also known as Dominique Ingres. Ingres was a pupil of Jacques Louis David. He was influenced by Italian Renaissance painters like Raphael, Nicolas Pausin, Botticelli, and his mentor, Jacques Louis David. His paintings were usually nudes, portraits, and mythological themes. He was regarded as one of the great exemplars of academic art and the one 
of the finest old masters of this era. Here are the famous artworks of Dominic Ingres. We have the portrait of Napoleon on imperial throne. The painting depicts Napoleon in his decadent coronation costume, seated upon his golden and crusted throne, hand resting upon smooth ivory balls. Another one is La For Narina, originally conceived as part of a series of paintings documenting the life of Ingres' idol, Raphael. La For Narina shows the Renaissance master in the arms of his alleged mistress. Although Ingres ultimately abandoned the project, he painted five or six versions of this scene. And last one, the Apotheosis of Homer. The painting was a state commission by Charles X to have him remembered in the building works of the Louvre. The painting depicts an image of Homer receiving all the brilliant men of Rome, Greece, and contemporary arts. Jax Louis David and Dominic Ingres. Meron silang mga paintings ni Napoleon. By the way, sino ba itong si Napoleon? Here is my uh, trivia for you. Here is my research about Napoleon or the full name Napoleon Bonaparte. He was a French military leader and emperor who conquered much of Europe in the early 19th century. Born on the island of Corsica, Napoleon rapidly rose to the ranks of the military during the French Revolution. Another trivia, Napoleon Bonaparte planned to unite the whole Europe in one, but he was uh, defeated during the Battle of Waterloo. And there are some people who are going to Europe. Ito. Well, we have Abel Hitler. Now, about kay Dominic Ingres. You know, marami pala itong uh, nagawang mga drawings, especially mga sketches. Take a look uh, itong mga nakuha ko from the internet. These are the sketches that made by Dominic Ingres. Okay, I think these are the quick sketches na ginawa niya on the spot. I'm sure meron siyang ginamit na model or may mga model siya. Or sometimes uh, as an artist uh, ginag ginagawa ko ito uh, minsan. Sometimes in the park or when you are uh, alone. Okay? Masarap pa uh, mag sketch or uh, gumawa ng mga sketches just like uh, Dominic Ingres did. Let's go now to the neoclassical sculptures and the sculptors of this era. First, we have Antonio Canova. Canova was a prolific Italian artist and sculptor who became famous for his marble sculptures that delicately rendered nude flesh. He opened the idea for portraying discreet sexual pleasures by pure contours with his mythological compositions. Here is one Example, we have Psyche Awakened by Cupid's Kiss, a marble sculpture portraying the relationship between Psyche and Cupid. We have another one, we have Washington in general or in Roman general uniform. This is a marble sculpture of Washington currently displayed at North Carolina Museum of History in America. If you check Canova's artworks, may kita niyo yung detail ng kanyang mga sculptures. Ito ay uh, mga realism kung tawagin natin. Some of his artworks uh, are uh, life size, some are big, some are uh, small. By the way, itong si uh, Antonio Canova, may mga paintings din siya. But most of his artworks were in the form of sculpture. Mas marami siyang mga sculpture compared sa mga paintings. 
we have Bertel Thorvaldsen. Thorvaldsen was the first internationally acclaimed Danish artist. He executed sculptures of mythological and religious themed characters. We have one of his famous artworks is Christ or the Statue of Christ, a marble sculpture image of the resurrected Christ currently located at the Thorvaldsen Museum. Then we have the Lion of Lucerne, a sculpture of dying lion in Lucerne, Switzerland that commemorates the Swiss guards who were massacred in 1792 during the French Revolution. And here are the other sculptures of Thorvaldsen. We have Ganymede, Waters, Zeus as an eagle. We have also Nicholas Copernicus Monument. Oh, by the way, there are some interesting facts in French Revolution and the Neoclassicism. Sabi dito, the Neoclassicists wanted to express rationality and sobriety that was fitting for their times. Artists like Jacques Louis David supported the rebels in the French Revolution through an art that asked for a clear headed thinking, self sacrifice to the state, as in Oath of the Horati, and an austerity reminiscent of Republican Rome. Para palang may pagkakahaling tulad tong si Jax Louis David kaya one luna. To summarize our uh, lesson, check the paintings of the neoclassical period. Mostly uh, more on realism. And kung titignan nyo yung mga expressions, okay, you can see the diagonal lines that highlighted the expressions. You can also see uh, the lighting that highlights the subject matter and also the detail of the painting or the details. And also in the sculptures, masabi ko na ito, they are uh, also uh, expresses uh, emotions and also very uh, detailed contour when uh, you uh, see them uh, at close up. If you learned something in our lesson for today, you may comment down below or you may also uh, answer the following question and answer. First one. He is a sculptor open the idea for portraying discrete sexual pleasures by using pure contours with his mythological compositions. Next one, this is a sculpture made by Bertel Thorvaldsen dedicated to the Swiss guards who were massacred by Napoleon's army. And last one, give another famous artist of neoclassical period. Give at least three. To all my students, friends, and fellow teachers, thank you for your continued support in my uh, YouTube channel, The Hobbyist Artist. And thank you for your uh, likes, your comments, and everything. So if you haven't subscribed, to my YouTube channel, you may click the subscribe button and notifications bell so that you will be updated. Don't worry, malapit ko nang i-upload yung mga speed painting and speed drawing ko. So, thank you so much and God bless us all.